I'm Hewan Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is the Swinney Riesling 2020 Vintage from the Franklin River region of Western Australia. So the Swinney family is uh, quite a well-established family in the southwest of Western Australia. They've been farming down there since the 1920s. Uh, they're in their third generation now running the farm. And Matt and Janelle, his sister, are the two that are currently in charge of the Swinney farm and the Swinney vineyard. They haven't always had vines there. It's only in the last uh, couple of decades that they've had their own vineyard. Um, they have had a brand that's been out there for a while, but it's been very, very much uh, sotto voce. It's been a bit under the radar, but uh, lately they've been making a big attempt to promote it a bit more. They've got Rob Mann on board, who is the um, grandson, I think, of the famous Jack Mann, uh, the winemaker from the uh, Hortons in the Swan Valley. Rob Mann is an accomplished winemaker in his own right and is doing wonderful things with the wines at Swinney. Let's have a look. 2020, so it's a very young wine and very pale. It has yet to develop its color, um, but it's a bright color and it's a you know, very pale yellow straw color, which is just right for a young Riesling. Swirl it in the glass. And the aroma is very much um, a young wine aroma. It's not bursting out of the glass with lots of citruses and flowers and things, but it's more of the minerally tight uh, almost slightly earthy, um, crushed rocks, aromas um, that young Riesling can have. If you sniff it really you know, hard and work it hard in the glass, you can pick up touches of passion fruit and lemon in that wine. But it's, it's yet to really evolve its full bouquet, and you can tell that it's going to do that in the next few years. Let's have a taste. Mm, very, very tight wine, very fine, very intense, very long on the palate. Uh, beautiful tightness and line to it. It's got length that goes right from the beginning of the mouth to the back and in a continuous line. Excellent wine. It's still a little tight and in its shell. It's beautiful to drink now, especially if you had it with food. But I suspect that if you keep that for a few more months, a year, maybe even just six months, will make a difference to the wine. It will expand a little bit and it will develop its flavours more and it will become even more interesting to drink. Well, we scored at 94 out of 100, which is a very high silver ribbon score. It's a top uh, rank wine. It got eight out of number 54. That's eight out of number out of 54 wines from the 2020 Riesling from across the country. Um, so that includes not just Western Australia, but the entire country. Um, and we suggested drinking it from now or from 2022, preferably if you had uh, if you had your options, drink it for from then until 2030, because that's going to live for at least 10 years, no problem. So we asked the winemakers, or the winemaker, Robert Mann, what he would choose to serve with this wine. He suggested grilled scampi, or freshly caught marron on the half shell with Café de Paris butter. Marron, of course, is a specialty of the southwest of Western Australia. I can't think of anything better than a couple of freshly caught marron cut in half, stuck under the griller with a bit of butter and maybe even a dash of this wine on top, on top of them. It would be wonderful. Cheers. <music>